Hello, Imaginers. It is Kyla Martin coaching you to the career and life that you imagined. And I'm starting a very special series today, a five-part series on lessons of a lifetime. I am about to turn 50, and I thought that it was an incredible time to share the five greatest lessons that have served me the most in my business and in creating the career and life that I imagined because it's a pretty recent phenomenon that I learned so many life-changing lessons. And so I wanted to share them with my, my viewers, my imaginers, my aspiring imaginers, and those of you who are contemplating taking a small step to the career and life that you imagined. So on this first episode, I'm gonna do these kind of in order of the way that they impacted my journey and my determination to build the career and life that I imagined. And these are gonna be thought leaders who have impacted me, impacted a multitude of other people. And I'll be providing links if you wanna learn more about these thought leaders. So the first one is a man named Chris Gillibo, excuse me, Chris Gillibo. And I learned about Chris Gillibo when I was still working in corporate America as a speechwriter. I was following a musician that I loved and I noticed that he was attending a conference called the World Domination Summit. And I thought, what is the World Domination Summit? And so I began researching what that conference was about and I came to learn about its founder, Chris. And Chris has written multiple New York Times bestselling books, but one of the phrases that caught my eye was that he has a community of people that are nonconformist. So he calls uh, this community um, a community of nonconformists. Uh, in fact, I think he even has a book called The Art of Nonconformity. And this was so striking to me when I heard about it because it made me realize that there was other people like me out there. And as I sat in corporate America and I looked around at everyone who seemed to be happy and seemed to be fulfilled, I knew in my heart that many of them weren't, but they all seemed to be able to figure out how to, how to make it work. And if they had a yearning similar to mine, they weren't expressing it. And so it made me feel at times like I was on an island. And so finding a community that was filled with people that were doing some form of nonconforming, I didn't even understand at the time what that looked like or what careers or lives they were pursuing. But I knew that there was some people like me who were not living the life that they had imagined. And so I began to get involved in that community. I signed up for the conference and I started getting exposed to people who, again, were seeking something different and they were doing it out loud. And that was so inspiring to me. And I think finding your community on the road to your life imagined is such a powerful place to start because oftentimes when we're pursuing a different kind of life, a different kind of career, perhaps one that doesn't exist um, in, in the traditional way. So I've created my own business because the one that I wanted wasn't an option. Combining the things that I'm passionate about is what I've done in my business. And that includes coaching, obviously, but it also includes teaching and creating new content and new ways of teaching people how they can create the career and life that they imagined. So many of the pieces of the puzzle that, that helped me along my journey. And so I was so excited to find a community that could help me continue to explore. And again, I didn't even exactly know what I was looking for in the beginning, but I was so grateful for Chris and the community that he built, the books that, he, that he's written, he has um, a lot of books about creating a side hustle, which is such a great way to build some bridges while you're transitioning from corporate America. That's certainly what I did. And so lesson number one, lessons of a lifetime, number one, 
is to find your community. It is vital as you pursue this because you're already taking some steps out into the unknown and having a community of people who are on that same journey with you can be the, the difference to realizing that there are others who want a different kind of life, a different kind of career. So that is lesson one, find your community. Stay tuned for the next four lessons as part of my lessons of a lifetime. And as always, I have some free resources I'd love to share with you on my website. If you want to take a small step to the career and life that you imagine, check me out at kylamartinconsulting.com. And as always, I'm cheering you on to the career and life that you imagine. Take care.